All right, this is a, a photograph that was sent to me by a seller in Guatemala and I've circled the uh, the slab that I actually purchased and received. It's this one right here. Uh, and you can see that the color looks pretty nice. It looks very blue. Um, but again, as I've mentioned before, the problem with taking uh, photographs outside in sunlight is that you tend to get more of a blue skew. In other words, the uh, the if you have blue green uh, rocks, they tend to look more blue when they're outside versus inside or or under a cloudy sky. So it's tricky. I mean, most cameras will do this automatically. They'll, they'll just give you they'll interpret what they're seeing in a certain way and it just makes it look bluer than it actually is so I'm gonna go ahead and show you some other photographs of the slab um, that I actually received Okay, we're doing a pen light on the uh, Blue Jade from Guatemala. And this slab has been wetted. Okay, this is a still photograph taken from a video um, that was posted on Facebook by a seller in Guatemala um, showing uh, a piece of jadeite on the bottom being penlit or penlighted. Um, these are special uh, pen lights that they use to show the translucency and the color of jade that they're selling. And the interesting, th interesting thing about this photograph is that it's showing uh, what the same piece of jade looks like with using two different cameras. In other words, there's a camera taking a picture of this whole thing and then there's the camera in this phone that's taking a picture of it. And you can see that the the image on the cell phone looks bluer than the picture that's being taken of both of these. Point being that just because you pen light a piece of jadeite, that doesn't necessarily do, um, show you the actual color. It kind of depends on the lighting and also the, uh, the type of camera that you're using and the settings in the camera. Okay, we're going to be looking at a couple of slabs here from Guatemala. This is a blue jadeite. The uh, bottom slab is a slab of uh, blue-green Carousel Grand jadeite that I got from Max Mandel. His father brought it back from Guatemala. Uh, the top slab is the newer material. I'm calling this the tan rind um, blue green jadeite. It's got you can see it's got kind of a tan crust here. But first, I'm going to kind of go over the the qualities that are in this bottom slab. You can see the general color is uh, blue green. On the left side, you've got kind of a more trans uh, less translucent area, a little more opaque, and it's got the the uh, uh, kind of golden orbs here you can see here which is characteristic of the Carousel Grand area. Then you've got uh, this area which I would consider more of a B grade which is green with a very slight tint of blue and then the best grade is right here in the middle which is noticeably blue green and much more translucent. So you've got your C grade, your B grade and your A grade here. Compare that to the top slab 
This is, like I said, the new tan rind material, which is being called blue jadeite as well. But you can see the color is not as good. These, both of these slabs are backlit, so you can see the color. The color on this slab is similar to the B-grade Carazo Grand. You can see over here these two, very similar in color. So I just wanted to show these two, um, these two different jadeites uh, backlit, so you can get a comparison. Um, they're also about the same thickness. These are both uh, slab, both slabs are about five millimeters thick. All right, uh, here are some cabochons cut out of different uh, qualities and grades of jadeite. Um, on the right, just as a sample of something a little different, uh, this is some green polar jade, which is nephrite, and this comes from Canada, just to give an idea of the green compared to the blue green. Then over here, the top and the bottom here, um, these are the new uh, tan rind, this one on top and this one right here, both tan rind. And you can see the top down, they're a little bit darker uh, looking top down than these other ones over here, which are uh, Carousel Grand. So this one down here is a Carousel Grand C grade. And you can see it's got the inclusions um, kind of these golden orbs in here. Then you've got a B grade up here. You've got another C grade up here. And then this is more of an A grade uh, right here. So that's a comparison. You can kind of see the difference between the uh, the Carousel Grand over here versus the Tan Rind here. And then this is the green Polar Jade. Okay, I'm doing a video on this new jade that I just received today uh, from Guatemala. This is what it looks like. This is about an inch thick slab. And this is what it looks like dry. And it's sunny right now. So if, uh, it's kind of partly cloudy today, so we may get some uh, partly cloudy looks at it too. And you can kind of see the color compared to the green grass around it. It's got interesting formation. It's got kind of a tan rind, which grades into the uh, dark blue in the middle, or more of a bluish green, depending on the lighting you, you look at it in. Let's give it a little shot. And you can see the color here. It's kind of more of a light color in here, grading into this more darker color in the, on the end. the other side. And I picked this slab out specifically because it did have kind of more of a gradation in color. Um, you got a little bit more of the darker here and then going to the lighter on this side. And when I slab it I'll be able to get an idea, a better idea of the actual translucency of the material. But I wanted to do a video with it uh, in a slab form like this because this I'll be able to compare this with the photos that I got from the seller in Guatemala. Uh, I had got some pictures online of this slab before I purchased it. So I just received this today in the mail. <clears throat> now I'm going to compare this with some other material that I have from previous purchases. This is a slab of uh, the Mandel Estate Blue Jadeite. I got this from Max Mandel. His father uh, brought this material back from Guatemala many years ago. And just to compare, you can see the color rays here. 
And uh, the Mandelma State is a little bit lighter, uh, appears to be a little more translucent. And more of a pure blue versus blue green, in my opinion. And this is, uh, I have this labeled as a number three on my Jade video <clears throat> on YouTube, so you can check that out also. And here's another piece of blue. <clears throat> And the sun's kind of going behind a cloud, so you can kind of see what it looks like on a cloudy day. So again, this is a little more lighter blue. You, you might even call this like a Gemma blue, I think is what they, they call this down in Guatemala. So that's that. This is a number four on my jadeite video. Now this is some Carousel Grand, blue-green, which is probably the closest color that I have previously that matches this color. And you can see what that looks like. The sun just came out again. So I think the colors in the Carousel Grand are a little more vibrant. Uh, and the materials are probably going to be a little more translucent also. But again, I won't know that for sure until I actually slab this new slab. And I have another slab of blue-green carousel. This is a thicker slab. Compare that. And you can see it's got the characteristic uh, inclusions from that area of Guatemala. I also have some information on this on my website and on the YouTube channel as well. And finally, some green. Some light green. Compare that. So you can see the new material does have a, a bluish tint to it. As compared to the green Jade. I've, this is also uh, Mandel material. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I'm also going to pen light this. Uh, they make jade pen lights which are used in the industry to show translucency. And uh, just to make a note of that, just because a piece of jade is pen lighted, it doesn't necessarily give you accurate color. Um, and I'll, I'm going to illustrate that later in the video as well. Uh, I'm going to pen light this um, just to give you an idea of what it looks like uh, when they do that. Um, also, you may notice that in different lighting conditions you may get different uh, tints of blue and blue-green depending on on the lighting. Um, so for example if you take photographs outside in direct sunlight you're going to tend to get uh, colors that are more blue, it's going to be blue skewed, um, as opposed to taking photographs inside with using incandescent lights you're going to tend to get warmer photographs with less blue and more kind of yellow colors. So um, that's basically it. This is uh, the new material and uh, I'm going to add some more information uh, later as I, after I slab it.